which is definitely worse. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, Fox still a good <laughs> character, uh, and Yoshi looks terrifying. Mm -hmm. I'm like. I can't Yoshi make a joke is about King Dedede, but hey, that inhale is something to be feared. It's, <laughs> dude, I, I, I play Olimar, he can inhale my F smash. <laughs> oh, I, oh, that's an unfortunate yeah. time for you. It's, All right, so, it's a lot. <laughs> well, also, yeah, speaking of other really Fox good characters, Yoshi. you got the Yoshi from yeah, so Raptor. He, I've heard Yoshi's really good, and I've seen Raptor playing really well. Um, I'm terrified of this character. I was terrified of this character when he wasn't good. But <laughs> now that he's Suarez, really good, I'm super Suarez scared. Both Suarez and Raptor doing such a good job with this character. Yeah. And, you know, he's definitely something to be feared. And you see he's opting to box him out with his f tilts. It gets the down air to rack up this damage. But ZD doing a good job of avoiding too much more. And Raptor, you know, was New York PR with, with Brawl Yoshi, mm -hmm. with Smash 4 Yoshi. And so the idea of him getting a suddenly very good Yoshi yeah, no, we don't know for sure yet where he'll end up on the tier list, but he certainly seems like a better character, and yeah. that's a really scary thought. Exactly, but also, you know, as we're seeing, again, ZD doing a good job of just preventing too much pressure coming in from Raptor. Uh, sealing out that first stock pretty quick and slowly chipping his damage back up. Much different gameplay style from Light, but still super effective as well. Just slowly boxing his way in, racking up his damage. Yeah, I think if you if you sort of look at, like, how you are, like, you know, quote-unquote supposed to play Fox, it looks more like the way ZD does it, and then Light sort of comes up with his own thing as he goes along. Uh, which is what he did in Smash 4, and he was fantastic at it. Hey, you know but what? ZD has always played like a very classical, like, like these are the options Fox is good at. I'm going to use them in a good order and make sure I keep you off balance. And speaking of changes as well, oh, that up there still very much the same. Yes. But uh, that down B from Yoshi actually going through platforms now. And, yeah. And Raptor recognizing a situation where maybe ZD might not have been prepared. And the egg roll on stage actually exerts a good projectile for a change. And that grab Eggs still bounce not now. <laughs> I'm... Again, very scared of this character. <laughs> eggs, uh, eggs bounce now if you don't throw them very far. Mm -hmm. I don't know the details on like where they do or don't, but like if you throw like a super short egg, it bounces, and the hitbox stays active. I see he continuing to rack up this damage. Now this is a bad spot overall for Yoshi usually because, you know, you can get nared off of that second jump and you just fall. Right. If he catches him in the right spot. And now we've seen light go off stage quite a bit. ZD being a little bit more reserved, and I kind of like it because he doesn't want to take a trade from a potential fair from uh, Raptor on it, it, you know, a reverse edge guard. I really like the way ZD uses Fox Nair because mm -hmm. it's the same move more or less. Like if you look at it, the same animation works the same way. But like the applications of it from watching him, you know, at Xanadu and now watching him here. He uses it in a different way, and it's more of a pressure Ooh. tool. That was, that was very and good. Raptor using the fair the same way still. 111% still a very, very heavy character for that the most part. That was an amazing parry animation, by the way. Uh, yes. Yoshi's eyes. I oh, love man. how evil everybody's eyes get. Oh, so good. Have you ever seen Jigglypuff's eyes? When it, oh, it's it so good. It actually looks like <laughs> something out of a horror film. But <laughs> on this, though, I like, again, ZD recognizing that Raptor starting to get a little momentum. Opting to stay back, trying to box his way in. Gets it, gets the Nair, but Ooh. does not read the tech chase. He doesn't get the true version of it there. And Raptor's able to tech out. That, and oh, looking like, for he it. He had it there, but actually actually ran a little bit too far. It looked like he was reading that roll. Now Raptor's starting to wreck his damage up. Going high. Does it get the fair? Oh, I thought he was going to get that fair. Nair good Nair shield, shield there. Still very good. That's what a big change uh, for this game is with, with jump shots going to frame three and shield grabs getting slower, like... That means that shield grabs are nerfed and aerials that are shield are buffed. Yoshi's only ever had aerials that are shield. I mean, in some of the old games, he literally couldn't jump out of shield. But, you know, in Smash 4, like, Nair out of shield was his best option most of the time. It was his fastest for sure. I was so, actually just talking to Wolf about that. You know, the fact that you can't shield grab as much is a very yeah. big detriment to a lot of people. But Yoshi, Yoshi never really did that, that anyway. Yeah, yeah. Being able to just jump out of there, it's such a good option. And we're seeing this match all of a sudden go to it's almost very even. even, yeah. Yeah, Air Dodge is going to oh, get punished, really though. Good. Too much end lag with that Nair ZD recognized in that situation. That was a really good read right there because, you know, with how laggy directional Air Dodge are now, you can wait that long to punish it. And ZD does a really good job here. He doesn't force anything. With how fast Fox falls, it's difficult to get back up to that exact spot. You know, it's difficult for him to double jump and, like, reach exactly where the Yoshi is. So exactly. instead, he just retreats to the stage, does a really good job of knowing, okay, he has to drift this way or else he's just going to have to be too far down. Exactly. I'm going to put an air right here. And outside of invulnerability on, uh, or armor on the get startup of the second jump, Yoshi can't go anywhere. He can't, yeah, exactly. he can't air dodge again, like you just said. Uh, so it's a bad spot, and ZD recognizing it. Going into game two here, running it right back to Pokemon Stadium, which is amazing music. Great song. I'm so I'm happy. so glad that we get all the Pokemon music now, mm -hmm. you know, between this and Kalos, if which, we is, get which to, is great stage, Exactly. Uh, I, I'm also a big fan of Unova, even though I know a lot of people are... Uh, there, there, there's indifferences like on it, that because of the teleport the thing. Yeah, I, uh, as a long-time Zelda man, I, <laughs> I have my problems with it. But yeah, I, I think it's a cool stage. But, but I, also, you know, with the, the variations of I really like this Omega, and Kalos. Exactly. The variations of Omegas and uh, Battlefields, we get all this new music, and you know right. for, for sure, we... 
Almost saw an up smash there. Uh, we're going to know for sure. Once the Joker comes out, it's going to be all Persona 5 music. Oh, yeah. All right, so Raptor trying to keep him stuck at the ledge. Y yes. Yes. Uh, uh, if you're not from Devin, we will take it every time. Absolutely. Kind of like that up air from ZD. Got to put that first point on the board. ZD getting the first talk here. This game is very close, though. Uh, a little closer than the startup last time. We saw ZD sort of pull away last game, and then Raptor almost brought it all the way back. Uh, this game, Raptor keeping it really even, but it'll depend on where he can take the stock. I'm not going to get used to that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Opted to try and catch up with the Nair at the ledge, but ZD keeping his defense and oh. gets into it with a forward air. I like the fact that he just opted to go back to the ledge, not get, trying to get caught on his landing. Holds the jab a little too long. Oh, drop shield for the last hit. I wonder if he was trying to parry that. I think he was that. trying to parry it. That's, that's, that's my best the guess. The third hit ends up killing. They made that move really strong, Yoshi Bear. Yeah, and it actually connects consistently all the way through. I've heard a lot of the Yoshis very happy about that. A lot of multi-hits do now. It's really good. They, they made multi-hits a lot more consistent, uh, which includes jabs. That's definitely been throwing me off because I'm so used to trying to SDI out of jabs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Samus still can't connect jabs, but Don't anyways. worry, but <laughs> that was intentional clearly in Smash 4. There's literally a tip in the game in Smash 4 that says, like, Samus' jabs don't connect it to each other. Just, just shoot things. Yeah. Jab one's good. Just use that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, Yoshi, another uh, character who's always had, like, jab one setups. Oh, that um, was actually a great stall from ZD really and good. an answer from Raptor, but unfortunately Raptor couldn't catch him with that fair. Would have definitely stolen a stock there. One of the big things so far, ZD teching all of these little things. You know, all of the short hop nairs, all that kind of stuff. As is Raptor, actually. We saw him survive what would have been some nair up smashes because of those. And I think teching across the board is a little easier in this game, but at the same time it's really important because it is so easy to get quick jab block setups. Mm -hmm. And characters like this have such, such fast ones and they get so much off of it. That like it's really important to hit all of those little techs, even if they are like easier than they used to be. Mm -hmm. There's so many of them, and if you miss one, you can get punished so hard. Exactly. You know, uh, we're seeing a very similar gameplay to the last game, uh, where ZD was able to take the first stock, not so much convincingly, but very solid. And Raptors right. bring it back. This time, it looks even better. Raptors been able to just slowly rack up his damage, not reading the proper way he went, but punishing him accordingly with the self smash of his own. And Raptor taking the first lead of the set. This is a really tight set right here. Mm -hmm. Not sure if MDV8 has like the type of Yoshi practice that Tri-State has when it comes to Smart. I don't think anyone has no the kind does. of Yoshi practice that, no that Tri-State has. Long Island's got like five Yoshis. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's you got you guys. Like, ho Raptor and Suarez have Yoshi always been so yourself. good, but there's a lot of other ones out on Long Island too. Mm -hmm. Like this region has too much of this character historically, and Raptor has historically been the best one. Yoshi's uh, Final Smash is literally footage of Long Island's local <laughs> residents going to a local. Yes. <laughs> just all of that's, that's it. That's just everybody running through Xeno. Right, Good bait right there. Yeah, ZD forced into a situation again. Unfortunately, people aren't used to that yet. Grabbing the other way. I've seen so many people grab the wrong way on like Fox Side B on Heel Slide because like these things stop on Shield now, but it's gonna take a while for everyone to remember that. Oh, good. Anti that with was that so good. Tilt and trying to get him to go the other way to maybe get him with another again. Because that was what it looked like. But looked I, like a dash cancel up tilt. I can't tell exactly because of Yoshi's animations. Like he sort of faces forward, but mm -hmm. that was what it looked like. That was a really good play right there. Yeah, I love the fact that you can cancel run into uh, all these tilts. Oh, and Ooh. catches him with the forward the air, forcing him to right have there. to go low with the fair. Good answer from uh, Raptor there. And again, we saw at the beginning of the last game, he was starting to slow it down, but yeah. he couldn't close out the deal. This time, the moment he got him to really take too much damage on the second stock, ZD couldn't yeah. close the deal. I think a big, that's a big thing for Yoshi historically in mm -hmm. Smash games, is he's a really hard character to come back against. Mm -hmm. um, and this is really the first of like a Yoshi that I've seen in this game. Mm -hmm. But it seems like the same premise, but on a better character, where yeah. it's, it's always been really tough to catch him. You know, even when he was not that good of a character in like in Melee or Brawl, like it's really hard to find a Yoshi when their movement's really mm -hmm. good because their speed's so good and all that. Yep. And then in Smash 4, it was you know, that was really his big thing. You don't want to fall behind a Yoshi. Yep. Uh, but Raptor did such a good job there running away with that game once he got a lead. Because you saw him, he dropped the first stock again, and then he two-stocked him. He yep. didn't die again. I actually really like this switch that ZD picked uh, to here uh, because of the fact go? he oh, went FD. to FD. Because okay. now he can continue to chase after these uh, landings without having to yeah. worry so much about getting comboed up himself. Because normally you see Fox being the one that combos off those platforms. But it was really Raptor was, who was yeah, doing was all the Raptor. comboing off of that. And having an extra spot to run away Man. now doesn't have that. Imagine being fast enough to run after a Yoshi. I can't even imagine that. <laughs> no, <laughs> Shout I, out to Fox. No, I, I live in the, the, the heavy character life, so I, I, I definitely cannot do that. But this is something yeah. that these two do not have a problem with, and ZD doing a good job again. This is just the theme of the first sets. 
actually armor getting so the arm weird. off the jump, <laughs> luckily, and he gets through again. This is very unfortunate for ZD. Those could have been two kills, that but was a lot the of back damage, air though. that time. The thing, the thing with that situation is, you know, as a lot of characters, that lets Yoshi get back to neutral. Fox is so quick that he's able to take that and just be like, all right, that's free damage, and now we're back in neutral, and Yoshi doesn't have, like, an advantage, and he can't counterattack me off that. So I think that was a really, there was some really smart plays there, getting the extra damage against the double jump armor, and then just then all of a sudden, as soon as he does get a clean hit, Yoshi's at like 140, and so now he's definitely going to die to it. I like these aggressive answers that Raptor has been there. putting on now. Compared to the last game where he was going to go a little bit slower, he's starting to meet ZD at a lot of hitboxes. Where's another spot where he had Ooh. to go low? It did not catch it with the side B, and Raptor answering that immediately with the fair. That was a good catch from Raptor right there. Down a lot of percent now, but as long as the stocks are even, I feel like this matchup is very even. Absolutely, you know, we're seeing the way that Raptor really oh, had the tech chase, but didn't, do didn't act out of it. He's probably going for an up tilt combo there, I think. I think so as well. You know, you want to rack up that big damage early against someone like Fox. You don't want him to steamroll you. Just looks like Yoshi gains height now with the X throw, even after the first one. Yeah, I, I believe it's the first two and then it stops. Huh, okay, because it was the first one in Smash 4, and it didn't reset when he grabbed ledge, so I. Uh, I don't know if it does now, but that's an interesting little change there. Yep, the Raptor, even in this backup, the up smash not going to take it just yet. It is a little weaker from the last game, but he does have a little bit more range on it. However, another one will seal okay, the deal. There it is. Oh, actually, he's it still did alive. not. Excuse Yoshi's me. Yoshi's a heavy boy. It's, it's Always stable. has been. And it's hold my words. Now, will he go for three? He will not because he's forced off stage. Has to go low. Oh, he it, still had a jump. Yeah, I thought he got his jump ripped <laughs> off that up B as well. That would have definitely Fox been a four there. <laughs> There's some characters where you just have to learn how to keep your jump at all times. Good delay coming in from uh, that shine as well. Because, like before it was beside me. What? Whoa. He DI'd a little too well. You know, he DI'd well <laughs> enough to not die off the side, but it killed him off the top. Yeah, he just wanted to ha give him a little bit of assistance, push himself in yeah. the top last zone. And again, this is exactly how oh. it went the last game. Yep. Oh, okay, he got back. Good mash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Raptor. Mashing off stage on that is so scary because you don't want to buffer anything. Yeah, that I was low. just about to say, buffering is so bad. <laughs> and if you just air dodge, you die. Yeah, I actually really like the new buffer system across the board, except for air dodging off stage. I've heard a lot of people complaining about it in general. I think it's really cool most of the time. We'll talk more about the buffer but the system air dodging in my, off stage in my, um, my yeah. we'll say love hate relationship for it afterwards. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Oh, good conversion right there. Raptor looking really good all of a sudden. Yeah, this is just turning like last into the game. Raptor show here. Lost the first stock, and now he's just starting to run away with it. ZD's got to take the stock. Right, the back air is definitely a firm, uh, you know, a solid positioning uh, tool to get him off the side of the stage, but he can't get the kill. Goes to see what he reacts of. I thought that was um, going to be a jab lock setup for a second. The back air again. Not going to die to him. it, but. Oh, he's he, this is a bad spot. He does not have a jump force to go with the side B. Able to Very make it back side B. Oh, the there. <laughs> and it killed him. The zoom in on the Fox up smash. I was wondering what was going on because Roger had an extra stock. Uh, he threw out up air, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can let's see what it was. <laughs> what what just happened? Okay, let's let's check this out. The, I did not. I think guess it was up air. It was definitely it had, yeah. Up it air. had to be I, up air because Nair doesn't hit that way. The the titanium set that <laughs> Raptor carries on him to want to challenge a fox up smash and it worked <laughs> for him. It almost looked like he was down being for a second, wow. actually. Like, I can't even tell. I don't that think was down being was fast enough, yeah. but you know what? Raptor's going to take that, and one of the foxes that we're invading already down. Goes down to losers, yeah. Now, that is a That's very a big scary win right there. spot.